All right, today I got my toolbox tour for you all. Snap-on 68 inch Epic. Y'all stick around, check out and see what's inside of it. All right, I want to start off by saying thank you for checking out the video checking out my toolbox um, if there's anything in it you would like to have an old part number of whatever leave a comment down in the comments section and I'll do my best to dig that part number back out for you and reply to you on that alright guys I took the camera off the tripod so maybe a little shaky sorry on top got my snap on mat I think I got a part number for this somewhere. Uh, okay. Well, got my snap on Traxxas truck. My melted piston out of a Honda that I used the blue wrench on. Snap on blowgun. Harbor Freight hex head uh, metric and SAE. My Yeti. Or Yeti, shoot. Arctic. Uh, King Koozie. Guys, these right here really work pretty awesome. Uh, Autograph Cruise Pedagon Piston out of one of his top fuel cars. Or funny car, sorry. Snap-on S. My helmet. One of the other kids' helmets. Bunch of stuff here. Uh, VIP pass from where I got the piston. Jay Young signed a snap on bottle opener. Jay Young signed snap on baseball. Snap on plate. My razor. That's the only uh, razor I'll probably ever be able to get. My 1000 XP. Another piston out of a, a Honda with a snap rod. Pappy's Corner. Chargers. Charger. Milwaukee Radio. Love that thing. Gets loud. Numchucks, throwing stars, some Cornwell uh, tool posters, my fan, and of course, now the toolbox. Oh. Glove holders over here. It's Arctic Silver, 68 inch, snap on epic. It's got titanium trim with like an electric blue uh, add on there. So. A nice little pan of it here. Now, my half inch game on my SAE and my metric are really weak. Trying to fix that. Got some Matco. I don't know why I just said Matco. Those are Cornwell. Those are Cornwell. These back here are Craftsman, old school Craftsman. Half inch drive, standard. Then I've also got some more Sun X, 3 8 impacts, some spark plug sockets, a couple extra uh, Sun X deep well impacts, snap on deep and shallow, some miscellaneous uh, other brands. If I can get to focus here, like a Stanley. Got um, just a Taiwan. I think this one here's just another Taiwan. Just another Taiwan. Reason I like them is because they're they're considered the deep, but they're not the mid links. But snap on short and deep quarter inch, some gear inch flex swivel sockets. All my SAEs on this side bunch of different swivel sockets uh, this one here is a Matco if I hold it right and the rest of them I do believe I'm trying to look see what I'm grabbing and looking the camera too sorry about that guys and all these here the rest of them are snap on that I bought off the truck except for this one 
This one's an old, well, if I can find it. Industrial. There it is. And, oh, that is an old snap on. I was thinking that was something different. Headlamp. It's bright, works great. The only thing is, that ain't actually is not a button, <clears throat> but more of a sensor, and it is touchy. And the batteries don't last. Yes, you have to buy it. It is not rechargeable. Work light I got from Home Depot, it uses batteries. But it's bright, works awesome. It's got a little kickstand. You can use it however bunch of different ways but snap on headlamp this is the one that's you know you can stick anywhere I love this little sucker then another snap on light my other snap on light three eighths hand impact protecting a bit. I got that from Tony the technician. I won that on his one of his subscriber giveaways. Gear wrench three eighths wobble plus extensions. Gear wrench standard extensions. Gear wrench wobble plus quarter inch extensions. Gear wrench quarter inch regular extension. I do have the snap on quarter inch wobble. Um, the three eighths on order. So. Then I got a H. Yeah, what is that? HDX light from uh, Home Depot. Snap-on bottle opener. Little blue point. Little grabber. I love these things. They're a lifesaver when you need them. Uh. Snap on extension, a couple Pittsburgh extensions, uh, PM, Popular Mechanics. I got some Sonic tools here. The pliers I actually like. And yes, you're reading that right. Main Germany. The ratchet, like they told me. They said it's not the best one they have because it's a freebie. But it's 72 tooth. And guys, I've used it several times doing some brake jobs. It didn't skip, didn't jump and go the opposite way. Actually done pretty good. Uh, the 17 millimeter wrench done pretty good. A beat on it actually. Not used the screwdriver yet, but I've used the this one couple of times and did all right uh i just kind of iffy they they just don't have a, a good quality feel to them i mean they're they're pricey but i just i don't know just the feel something about them anywho blue point hex master set another blue point Torques, uh, security torques, and some e torques. My uh, snap on three torque angle and a Craftsman half inch drive torque wrench. Back here, have half inch drive metric. Uh, I need some metric. <laughs> Here's some of the impacts half inch drive metric that I have but I got snap on deep mid shallow 3 8 drive 3 8 gear inch wobble extensions some craftsman 12 point old school craftsman sun x 3 8 impact snap on deep mid and shallow quarter inch some Pittsburgh e torques deep wells Gear wrench, wobble Allens. I just kind of thought they'd be nice to have sometime. Uh, 
snap on 36 millimeter deep well axle socket uh, no name from Napa 36 some miscellaneous some craftsman some no name now I've got some adapters over here just a various mix some Pittsburgh Allen's uh, from here back those are Pittsburgh and these are Pittsburgh and I've had these two double squares for a while and this one I think come from AutoZone yeah it's Duralast a uh, T70 uh, Sunix lug nut sockets extension gear wrench oil filter sockets over here I got some 3 8 impact swivels 2 or 3 crow's feet extension or two and a snap on metric mid length flex sockets master grip 3 8 and quarter inch metric and SAE super shallow set use them a couple of times just to use them say I've used them see what they were like my wrench drawer might have changed a little bit if you follow me on Instagram uh, the Instagram is just an ATV underscore YouTube you will see the before and the after pictures of this thanks to toolbox widget um, start back here these are my metric snap-on flank drive plus then from here to here is my gear wrench metric reversible ratcheting wrenches start here go back is SK X frame ratcheting wrenches a standard uh, SK one and a one sixteenth. The here we got my standard. These are snap on. This one here is a no name one inch, but these are my snap on standards. Gear wrench reversible ratcheting standard to there. Then gear wrench standard line wrenches, and then here's my metric gear wrench line wrenches. Then gear wrench 120 XP long handled zero degree offset flex head spline drive and start here go back to here this is my Carlisle uh, flank drive plus copy wrenches all in metric metric gear wrench stubby ratcheting wrenches some Pittsburgh stubbies, SAE and metric both. Some old Stanley Allen keys I've had for years and years. A mix of double boxed in offset wrenches. Snap on, snap on. A no name. A craftsman. Uh, something no name. Made in USA though. Another. No name, I do believe. MFD USA, I don't know. Uh, a Westcraft, a Craftsman, a Sears, and a Craftsman, and then some Pittsburgh metric S wrenches. <clears throat> but now there's the wrench drawer now. Try to do this a little quicker, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll just start over here. Set of Matco Precision Screwdrivers. Got those off of Justin Dow's channel. Use those several times. They come in handy. Uh, da, 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 da. Everybody and her brother and sister and ex-wife has had these the craftsman easy outs my craftsman t 
200 something piece bit set. Uh, another little bit set that I picked up. It's full of everything. Snap on flathead, snap on flathead, snap on flathead. Craftsman impact screwdrivers. I got a Phillips. These are made by Vessel and made in Japan. A flathead and a Phillips. My OEM tools. O ring and seal. Then. Of course, snap-on screwdrivers come for grip. My very first purchase off of a snap-on truck about 15 years ago or better. Oh, shoot, that was back. God, I'm getting old. 16 years ago. Anyway, best pry bar you'll ever buy from snap-on. But the uh, small set of snap-on screwdrivers... Hook and pick from snap on some bits, and the bigger hook and pick set. Then we got a Cornwell 12 piece hook and pick set, longs and shorts. Snap on spring tool, snap on ratcheting screwdriver, oil filter wrench, oil filter wrench, Milwaukee 90 degree offset, crescent wrench, pipe wrench, Mayhew. And all Pittsburgh snap ring pliers and fixing to get the snap on ones. Those are all right for light duty kind of stuff. But if you got a a uh, snap ring that would go on top of a ball joint, you better watch it with those bigger, heavier set that's too big for that same snap ring. Got some inter. Like window crank remover, panel poppers, stuff, some other jaws or teeth for the for those. Two real long uh, a Phillips and a straight Pittsburgh. Old picks that I've had. Old drum brake adjusting tool. And snap on pry bars and the plastic pry bars for interior stuff Pittsburgh's pry bars my big snap on pry bar Pittsburgh panel poppers for interior I'm not going to go through brands of all these but Greenlee who knows who knows who knows and Irwin who knows Pittsburgh Irwin um, Van Pliers <laughs> uh, this here is a set of gear wrench channel locks uh, but van pliers go to vampliers.com use promo code ATV15 and get 15% off on your order plus free shipping some uh, vice grips some other needle nose um, these are one of a very few Mac tools that I have I don't know if you can see that or not. I've got a couple of 10 millimeter Mac sockets. Uh, some stubby duckbill pliers. I've got several lines, linesman pliers. Klein crimpers. Strippers. OTC. Snap on. Channel lock. Blue point hose pinch pliers. We'll go on to the next. This is kind of ended up as the catch-all. You can see I got O-rings back here, uh, metric standard, hose clamps, cotter pins, eclips, external snap rings, internal snap rings. I got glues, tapes, zip ties, staples, solder, some nuts and bolts, screws, double-sided tape. AC line, wire nuts, gloves I got from Eddie over there at 802 Diesel Crew, some epoxy, Teflon card, laying vinyl or uh, stickers, or if you're going to window tent, some coolant flush stuff, some connectors, Velcro. Over here, got a 
it's supposed to be an organization tray. I think it's a tray just to be more disorganized. But I got quick disconnect stuff in here. A uh, little quick battery tester. Tweezers. A, br a 22 caliber brush. Some other small brushes. Wedge. Some unibits. A bunch of bits in here. Impact stuff. Oh, this right here. Y'all ever deal with any motorcycles and four-wheelers that still have carburetors? Well, this is for cleaning out your uh, tips on your MIG welder and stuff. Well, they also work really great for cleaning out the jets and them carburetors. So, that's a real cheap little way to just take the carburetor apart and clean them jets out. Gun cleaning kit. I use that for as a bore cleaning kit. Some uh, earmuffs and safety glasses, guys. Don't joke around. Don't get nothing in your eyes and don't make yourself go deaf. You can't grow new eyes and you lose your hearing, it's gone. Old Craftsman multimeter, snap on test light, hard freight test light, south wire multimeter, a couple of spark plug uh, spark testers down from Harbor Freight, a bladder bag that you blow up with the air. Uh, Home Depot. Second snap on tool purchase I ever made was this Blue Point tester. It sold the cords dry rotted off of it, but it still works. Like I said, the safety glasses, hole saws, a bunch of brushes I get at the dollar store for a couple bucks. You get nylon, steel, and brass. A couple of uh, a drill and hex impact drill. There's the same, for, but for Milwaukee M18s, they're not the uh, brushless or fuel or nothing like that. Milwaukee flashlight, the big 1,400 foot-pound half-inch drive fuel impact. My Snap-on 3.8s 14.4 impact. My batteries, the Snap-on, the new soldering gun. They did warranty the tip. Uh, tape measure, my Klein uh, DVOM multimeter. Oh, shit. The oh shit drawer. Snap on tap and dies. The blue case is Irwin Hanson left handed drill bits. Some vampires, screw extractors. Uh, the deep well turbo socket, the Irwin 52 piece, or however many piece it is, screw extractor. Uh, down here is the snap on rethread kit. Then v VIM tools impact 50. I got this in the mail the other day. I won this off a of contest off their Instagram. I'll bring you all the video on that soon. And that's the part number. Impact 50. It's all 3H drive stuff. Then metric and SAE thread and diameter measuring tape speed square from Bolt Depot, which Brad's workbench sent me these. Tape measure that my girlfriend won off of H and H Country's channel. A little small dead blow or a uh, soft face hammer that I use with uh, some the smaller punches and stuff for when I'm taking apart guns. Some mini files, big files down here. Uh, Mayhew punching chisels in there. The gold ones are snap on air air hammer. Tips. The silver ones are Ingersoll Rand, Ingersoll Rand Air Hammer, Snap On Air Hammer, some Irwin Impact Turbo Sockets. I can put in my little impact gun. Irwin Turbo Sockets, a little Nico Extractor Set. What you do, you you drill you a uh, a hole down through your bolt or screw or whatever, and you use these guides. 
then you'll pick one of these bars down into it slide one of these collars over it and then you can use a uh, boxed inner inch or open in of it and extract it and skill drill bits and skill drill bits usually find these at Lows for 20 bucks on sale and you get a buttload of them and they're actually really good Down here in the bottom drawer DeWalt grinder some clamps speed square down in there. This is a I Need to see about getting this fixed This is a Proto Try and get to where you can see it Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, Proto Professional. Main USA. Uh, pickle forks. Harbor Freight Sawzall with swivel head. It works really good. Painters, hook, they call it a hook claw or a scraper. It's got a, a striking cap on the back. This is what I use for a scraper. I've got some sharpening shade with it. Ball ping, dead blows, big dead blow. Uh, Pittsburgh dead blow I've had probably 15, 16 years. Some of my other ones. Super lube for the ratchets. Is that fingernail polish? Oh, yes, it is. I use it to either mark stuff or use it as Loctite. I got some. Ceramic extreme heat brake grease, some three and sanding pads, a bunch of little bungee cords, duct tape, self tapping screws, a bunch of different types of grinder discs, blue point tire gauge, uh, Harbor Freight 3 8 Husky quarter inch. I won that off of Justin Dow's channel, but MD Lee 52 was the one that put it up to uh, up for raffle quarter inch harbor freight quarter inch or yeah quarter inch harbor freight 90 degree die grinder guys I don't oil it like I should I've had it for about three years the only problem is is that ring right there was wanting to keep coming loose on me but it's not one to do it in a while but man that's a great little buy for like five dollars 3 8 impact composite and an Ingersoll ran I think it's a 2 231 uh, I've had this thing for years but yeah 231C half inch impact and just some fittings down there cheater pipe the blue underglows magnets or stickers and stickers I've turned into magnets go check out everybody there ha uh -huh, ha uh ha -huh. okay got the Pittsburgh breaker bar snap on half inch drive long handle flex head another snap on long hand well semi long Half inch drive, old school. Uh, here we are. I don't even know what the date code on this one is. SL710. And it don't have the date code up there either. So then I've got the identical one, but it's even older. This is a 1950s. Uh, Part numbers here. Whoop. Just an L710. Then snap on 3 8 flex head. Comfort grip 3 8 This handle goes on that one. Then this is a 1955. FV70 snap on then another snap on 3 8 
the long 3 8 flex head, the new redesigned one. I got this one before they ever come out with the comfort grip. Then snap on quarter inch, snap on quarter inch, snap on quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and easy red. This is the one that's got the double flex head, quarter inch socket drive, or quarter inch hex drive. Then a couple old school Craftsman, Main USA. That one's a VP. That one's a VT. Craftsman Speed T, Gear Inch 84 Tooth, uh, Stubby 3 8 84 Tooth, Speed Handle, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Long 3 8 Flex, 3 8 Flex, Quarter Inch Flex, then this drawer. Oh, here's my Ethos Edge. I love that scanner. This little case is my borescope. You're like, what? You take that in, you plug it into your cell phone, and down in there is where the button and stuff and here's the camera in you just hook it to your cell phone you can send email whatever you want to do you can take video while it's down there but some springs for a four-wheeler master rebuild kit four-wheeler power block a pearl white snap-on handle for a ratchet Some more LED lights, a bunch of stickers I got down here. Is the snap on catalogs, snap on 3 8 impacts that's unopened, owner's manual for the box, some other stuff. I got a Capri catalog, a gear wrench catalog, all that's down in there. Oh. Sorry for the squealing for those that had the uh, earbuds in. And then probably one of the heaviest drawers in my box. Uh, start up front. We got your apple pie moonshine. We got your peach cobbler moonshine. We got you some clear moonshine. Yeah, we're in the south, so. Oh, fuel filter, rubbing alcohol, two bender for brake lines, an extra propane tank, got some uh, pulley pullers down there, stuff for headlights, 2000 grit sandpaper, dust mask, another flashlight, there's another charger down in there, some red shop towels. A junk brake tool. Don't ever buy that off Amazon. It's junk. Another brake or a propane tank. Some steel wool. Some microfiber cloths down in here. Clear spray paint. Butane. And Scotch Bright pads. Then I heard about this on the Rust Navarre's channel. It's chemical guys. Guys, they sell us at Walmart now. This is why I wipe my box down with. It will take any grease and stuff off your box. And it, it makes it look nice. You can use it on the chrome trim, titanium trim, whatever. If it's on your box, spray it on there. Um, I know Russ sprayed it on top of his bed liner top. And he gave it, gave it a nice little sheen. And it says, if it'll focus... It's not going to focus. Wet shine protection. It's chemical, guys. Then, I don't know why my things want not to focus. Here's a 
snap on. A vacuum tester and refiller kit for your radiator. Then the next one. Nobody's seen this. Yeah, I never did do a video on it or anything. Brain and race driver. I got the aluminum set, which are still lifetime warranty, just like the steel ones. And then the yeah, the Maddox ball joint set. So that's just really locked in there. Guys, it's actually a pretty good kit. That's a 22 millimeter hex head on there. I used an impact gun on this thing. It never bowed, flexed, or anything of that matter. It's got quite a few adapters and stuff in here. So actually about worth its weight when you need it so all the brake clean and armor all clean and wipes so I use wipe tools down the guys and gals y'all have a good one I appreciate y'all for sticking around checking out toolbox tour with me so with that being said y'all know what to do with the buttons down below I hope y'all have a good one. Go check out some of those channels that I mentioned. And we'll see y'all in the next one.